So the uh, final video that I'm going to do for C2 revision is this one, and it's all about angles of the sectors and whatnot. So the two things you've got to remember really are, is that the area of a sector is going to be half times by r squared times by theta, and the arc length is going to be r times theta. Now very, very occasionally they'll ask you to work out the area of a segment. Now the area of a segment is going to be that little bit there, which is on the end of a sector. And that one, the area, is going to be half r squared times by theta minus sine theta. I mean, there's other ways of doing it. You can just work out the area of the sector. Um, so the area of the segment, no, sector, take away the area of the triangle. Um, but either way, these are sort of the key things that you need to know about this. Right, so let's get on with this question. So we've got a big one which shows a sketch of a design for a scraper blade. The blade OABCDA consists of an isosceles triangle. Um, that's quite useful to know isosceles, therefore these are going to be exactly the same length. And if um, if it's a seg sector, then these two are going to be the same, because they're both the radius, so therefore they're both going to be 8 centimetres. You know, it's 16 all the way across, so therefore this length here is 8 centimetres. And as this is sort of part of a circle, the radius is going to go all the way along, so this is going to be 8 centimetres as well. Now, what we've got to do here is we've got to show that the angle COD, which is here to here to here, is 0 0.906 radians. So what we've got is we've got ourselves a triangle. And we're going to use the cosine rule. Now, the cosine rule is A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Then what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange it so it's cos A equals. So we've got 2BC cos A. So we're going to bring this over to the left-hand side and get rid of this and put that on the right side. That's going to be B squared plus C squared take away A squared. And then what we're going to do is we're going to divide through by 2BC. So we've got cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared all over 2BC. Now, with this type of question, if this here is going to be the angle, then this is going to be little a. So b and c are going to be those two there. So, in order to work out cos of a, we've got to do b squared, so that's 8 squared plus 8 squared minus 7 squared, all divided by 2 times 8 times by 8. And then once you've done that, we're going to work out what a is. That's going to be cos to the minus 1 of that thing there. And if we do that, so 8 squared plus 8 squared. Now remember, what you've got to do when you do this, when you put it all into your calculator, bear in mind it's radians. Your calculator needs to be in radians. And also, because this isn't too bad of a question, what you also need to make sure you do is do this twice, just so you don't make any silly mistakes. Or, if you don't get 0 0.906 radians, don't try and pretend it is. Just go through and do it again just to make sure you haven't made a mistake with one of these numbers. Anyway, if you do that, let me just pause the video and I'll tell you what I get. And in doing so, you get A equals 0 0.905633, blah, blah, blah. So three significant figures is going to be that there. That's going to round us up. So we've got A equals 0 0.906. So now we know what that angle is there. So we've got to find the perimeter. So the perimeter is going to be, be relatively straightforward. We've got 16 plus 7 plus we've got these two things here. Now we know that this here is 0 0.906 radians. And we know all the way across that's going to be pi radians. So pi is 180 degrees. So to work out this angle just here, we're going to do pi take away 0 0.906 that's going to leave us these two bits here so we then need to divide that by 2 and if we do that pi take away 0 0.906 divided by 2 we get 1.117796 so round that to 8 anyway so in order to work out the length BC here, remember we said at the top of the video, the arc length equals R 
times by theta. So we've got theta here. I'm going to times that by r, which in this case is 8. So your answer times by 8, it gives us 8.94. So then what we're going to do is we're going to work out this one, which is exactly the same. So we can just double that. It's going to be 2 times 8.94 plus this 7 up here, plus the 16 on the bottom. So plus 7 plus 16. That should give us the three significant figures 40.9 centimeters or 40.88. Then, what we're going to do now that we know that this here was, what do we say, 1.12, if we say that's 1.12, and that is 0 0.906, we've got to work out the area. So, the way you work out the area oh, is we're going to work out the area of the sector first of all, and we're going to double that, then we're going to work out the area of the triangle. Again, it shouldn't be too bad. So the area of the sector is half r squared theta. So that equals half times by 8 squared times by 1.12. If we just pause the video, tell you what that equals. And that equals 35.8. So we're going to double that, so we're going to need to add another 35.8. Then we're going to need to add the area of a triangle. Now the area of a triangle, so in a green colour, so the area of a triangle is half a B sine C, where C is the angle between them. So A and B are going to be these two things here, which we know already are 8 centimetres. It's going to be half times by 8 times by 8 times by sine, again making sure it's in radians, all this is in radians of 0 0.906 so if we do that we get 25.2 so I'm going to add those together so 25.2 plus 35.8 plus 35.8 and you get the answer 96.8 to three significant figures. Um, so yeah, so well done if you got that one. Again, it's not too bad. It's the key things you've got to remember. Now there's nothing on the 2016 paper on this other than um, this part of the question here. So if you remember my last video on the differentiation stuff, the only bit they had on sectors was this part of the question here. So now what we're going to do Going to have a look at the 2014 paper and that should be it okay so we've got this shape here a b c d e a and it consists of a right angle triangle which is e a b so that's this one here we've got triangle d b c here and we've got sector b d e and it says work out the area of the sector so again this is question five so it's halfway through the paper but the area of a sector we should know is a half times r squared times by theta or half r squared theta so that's going to be a half times by the radius squared which is r squared times by 1.4 and if we do that on the calculator we get 17.5 and that's centimeter squared but it says find it in centimeter squared so that's fine find the angle dbc so DBC here, again, much like the last question, what we've got is we've got um, a triangle, and so we just use the cosine rule. So again, the cosine rule is A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. So let's rearrange that again. We've got 2BC cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared. And then what we're going to do is we're going to divide through by 2bc, so we've got cos a equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared all over 2bc, and we substitute in the values that we want. So we're going to, and then we take the inverse consequence, so a equals cos to the minus 1 of. Remember, if this here is the angle, then this has got to be little a, just be careful with that. Um, b and c doesn't matter which way around it is, but as long as the a that you're looking for is going to be the same as uh, the opposite side there. So 5 squared 
plus 7.5 squared minus 6.1 squared. All that over 2 times 5 times 7.5. Remember, we've got to inverse cos that, making sure that your calculator is in radians. And if you do that, you should get 0 0.943 in three decimal places. So now we've got this as 0 0.943. And what we've now got to do is we've got to work out the area of A, B, C, D, E. So we've got this here, which is the area of a sector, which we know is 17.5. So that's 17.5. That one's done. And we can work out this one, which is the area of a triangle, which is going to be a half A, B, sine C. And we've got to work out the area of this triangle here, but we don't know an awful lot about triangle EAB other than the hypotenuse. But we can work out what um, this angle is here because we know that this here is 180 degrees or pi radians. So if we take away 0 0.943, if we take away 1.4, we're going to be left with this angle here. So if we do that, pi take away 0 0.904, sorry, 943. Take a 1.4, we're left here with 0 0.799 radians. So then what we can do is we can work out what AB is. So if we've got this triangle here, we've got 5, we've got this one here which is 0 0.799. We can work out what the adjacent is, so C A H. That's going to be cos. So the adjacent is cos of the angle times by the hypotenuse. So cos of 0.799 times by 5, and that gives us 3.49. So this is 3.49, and then we can work out the area of a triangle by doing half a b sine c and then we've got the other triangle which we've got to work out and then we just add all three areas together so we're going to have 17.5 plus half times 3.49 times by 5 times by sine of 0 0.799 plus the area of the other triangle which is going to be a half times by 5, times by 7.5, times by sine of 0 0.943. And again, because you've got 5, or you've got 5 marks, so you've got 6.2 minutes to do this, as long as you know this is what you've got to do, and you're not too tight for time, do it and then do it a second time, just to make sure that you get the same answer twice. So if you do that, what you should get is 30. 38.92 dot 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 so three significant figures that's going to be 38.9 um, well done if you have um, watched all, this, all of these videos if not go back and check out the other ones um, the best type of revision you can do is just watch these all of these videos and then you should know what's been coming up in the past three exams and that is the best indication that you're going to get as to what's going to come up in this year's exam anyway good luck